the solar pool ionizer. No more green technologies. If you want to check, you can get them right there. You can buy this on Amazon, by the way. Of course, you can buy everything on Amazon. We're going to put this in the pool. We're going to see how it works. Box. So you open her up. And it's got some. Uh, it's got some rules here. It says make sure copper uh, anodoid is screwed on completely. Spring is slipped on over the copper anodoid, and the basket is secured to the copper anodoid with wing nut. Whatever the hell that. Do we need this? Do we need to really read this? There's more directions here apparently, and I guess they're in different languages. All right, so let's put that to the side because whoever who reads stupid directions, right? That's ridiculous. You gotta flip this over to get it out. All right, let's do that. Hopefully, it don't break it. All right, here we go. All right, so let's check it out and see what we got here. I guess we'll save this stuff just in case. Oops. All right, so anyway, it comes with this brush. Okay, there's the brush. You need that to, that's gonna comb this solenoid thing that's inside there. And then this is some kind of uh, all right, so I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. All right, directions. So you you dip a strip into the water, remove immediately, hold the strip level for 15 seconds, do not shake, compare pads in that order to the color on the label. All right, so basically, I guess we're looking at the pH of, I'm going to have to read more about this. What? Well, Keep cap on tight between uses. Store at room temperature. All right. So anyway, this this is the uh, this is the pool and spa test strips. I guess I get 30 of them, and then I'm gonna have to buy more. Apparently, I didn't realize that I'm gonna have to buy more coils and more of these um, uh, test strips. So anyway, the um, the thing itself is about 150 bucks. I think it's kind of a ripoff, but I guess we just it's solar so it's got this solar panel on top which uh, you just put it in the water and I guess it, it just goes so all right we're gonna try that in a second here let's first make sure that this thing's screwed on really good because that's what it says in the uh, directions okay so anyway there's this little thing on the top and if you want to unhook it get a little bit deeper in here so I don't drop this you unscrew this you can see it's like coming coming apart there so that you can get to the coils to um to clean them all right so that goes right into that little thing there and, and then these coils we're going to have to clean them every once in a while so then you got to push it down and then screw it back on you got to make sure you don't cross thread it either too so you got to be careful here so i'm what i'm doing now is i'm going to screw it back down and as you can see, it's getting a little tighter. And then I get in there and I kind of pop it right there. And that feels pretty tight. And I think that's pretty much it. Now all we got to do is put it in the pool and uh, see if it changes the color. So let's do that, right? Here we go. Bam, there she goes. All right, now we're going to find out if that thing works. We'll check back in a couple hours. Okay, so anyway, it's floating around in the pool, and uh, basically, you got to make sure that the copper is screwed on completely, which we did, um, and um, we got the basket over it. That's good. If it's all good, and you just put the water the unit in the water, it starts working by releasing ions into the water when the sun interacts with the solar panel. It will usually take about a week of sunny days to get enough ions generated to prevent further algae growth. Um, from this point forward, you, you only need uh, a smaller amount of chlorine, maybe just a couple tabs in uh, one of those floaters. To maintain the simple clean, uh, to maintain this, you simply have to clean the copper with the included brush after a few weeks. After that, you can probably clean it once a month. The copper doesn't look uh, new after cleaning, just clean enough so that the color is back to copper. Then you use the test strips periodically. And if the copper level gets too high, anything over 0.9 ppm and lower is fine. Simply remove the unit from the pool for a week. 
that's it, and enjoy an algae-free pool. And you can visit them online at nomoregreen.com for more details and instructions, which I'll probably do. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> so anyway, it's just kind of floating around, and um, hopefully we'll be able to energize the pool and get rid of all the any of the green in it. That's it. That's the pool right there. Backyard. Bamboo trees. Woo! Okay, so I put my ionizer in here yesterday. I mean, it's only been one day, and the water looks substantially clear. Unbelievable. It's amazing. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos where I do stuff I've never done before. And guess what? You can too. All right, peace out.